Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mabis and we are back to Alan Wake. Happy New Year's to all, peace upon you. I hope for those of you who are in dire circumstances more than the rest of us are finding someplace safe to chill and relax and just enjoy this episode. I hope you are amongst friends and family. But anyways, God bless you all. Let's get started. Manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, hell. Hell, this is not good. That about sums it up. Oh, I am never drinking again. Good. Uh, I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck here. Night, They're not yeah. gonna... Interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there? Brett Easton Ellis, huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this. Oh my god! Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Fuck. Oh, man. It's dark outside? How long have we been out here? Stay cool. Oh. I can get the emergency power on. Oh, fucking hell. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind reel. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. I can't believe it's night outside. The light looks fucking awesome though. Here are your things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light, check. Cynthia, she lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on, let's get back to your friend. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No! We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. 
Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here if the backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? Oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Are you sure? Okay, then, but hurry. Hmm. I miss my other flashlight. But I hope you guys' uh, holidays have been great. Mine was okay. I guess. A little bit. Maybe. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, cool. I needed to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate. What was that? That actually hurt and it actually pissed me off. Like a lot. I think it's a wide open. Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. You need to bypass the damaged control box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on!
Wow, Sam, that's smart. Good job, Wake. Okay, stick close. Our first stop is the town hall. The keys to the chopper are there. The graveyard shift may cause chaos. Jesus Christ. I'm glad no more came out when I had to go grab that gear. Get him, get him. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna want explanations, you know. For example, what the hell happened to Rose? She's seriously messed up now. The same thing I think happened to me after I arrived. During this week you can't remember? Oh, I remember now. Barry was in his element, making calls, making things happen, even if he didn't entirely know what those things were. He wouldn't let the hot sheriff chick down. Even if every noise he heard from outside, and he heard plenty, made him jump. He had only paused to text Al a message, told him to hurry up. Suddenly, Barry froze in mid-dial. A window broke somewhere in the building, and then the lights went out. Oh my god. Oh, 
let's go. Lithium batteries. You have the right to over there. Flares. Try to make sure I'm not missing any pages, bro, because I would hate to miss a page and not have it. Do man, God, that's that's sorry, that's frustrating. Like, what does that even do? Uh oh, time to go. Okay, 
Someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. Gotcha. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and hurt it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again, but meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. The keys aren't upstairs, Wake. I'm just that. gonna take a quick look. Man, this light. the shit out of me. I think it's time for us that we get that we dipped. The darkness controls them. Yeah, I got it. Anyway, let's go get this thing out of here. to get a hunting rifle, but... Give 
Give me that. Okay, Sheriff, I got the keys. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh, God. Oh, God. Barry! Look out! Barry, move! Ah! Barry! He made it inside, Wake. He's okay. The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We what can is, meet him in the back. What's the point of us going in here through the town hall? Or we're just crossing the streets. Oh yeah, we needed a helicopter key. Right. Trying to make sure... Anything in the middle? Yeah? No. Let's go. Those lights are freaking lit. I love how the light effects are. God, this game's great. These guys did such an amazing job. Trust no one in the darkness, okay? I got a heavy flashlight now. Work out. Heads up! Oh, here they come! Almost thought that was a rifle. We can make it through the bookstore. Hey, Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. Keep the hell down, or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Hmm. Come on! Zara, come on! Come on! Come on! That's funny. What a damn shooting this game. Alan Wake bookstore. No thermos. Keep. <laughs> they're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. What? You have this set up and there's nothing up here? Hmm. I think it'd be a manuscript from the day. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. I don't see Barry. Look, Wake, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. Am I 
missing something? So it was her. Nice. All right, we got, we got, we are armed to the teeth, man. Except for the whole shotgun thing. Kind of sad and a bit. We gotta get our way up. We gotta make our way up there, though. We're almost out of the town, though. Oh, look, a thermo. Ugh. Yeah, I remember I used to ride this as a kid. When the shit that we would do as adults. Gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Let's take a flight. Right. Come on, boys. Clear where that came from. Big ass knife. To be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript. But it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task, and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Right? I don't have a flashbang on me either. Oh, there's a thermos right there. Lovely. 
And just when I was bragging about how armed I was. I'm surprised that light didn't heal us. Did you call 911? Guess that one saw the light, huh? You didn't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. We got this. We are almost out of here. I should have grabbed that hunting rifle. Hmm? All right, guys, let's go. The Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. <laughs> I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. Bastard. <laughs> Call him a bastard. Look at that, dude. That lighting is fucking on point. Oh, we're back in the forest again. Come right, Bright Falls. I'm coming, I'm coming. When someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license, you're cleared for departure to Night Springs. But no adventures. Hi! The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Don't take too long. I want to get out of here. Got nothing in there for me. Okay, cool.
taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. Wild. Gun and bail, coward. He's not going to raise his face. Oh, oh, oh! Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! is gone. Oh, not exactly. Not bad. Nothing missing, I don't think. My boy, my boy, my boy. You 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 got to, you got to, thank you. And here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. This is good. Oh my god!
fuck. Close, but I had to find a way across. I like the water reflections. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. Cynthia, you got it. And there is a page on the chair. This is a BS.
The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written the horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Ain't caused so much destruction, my god. Took over the goddamn entire town.
that? It's like it isn't there, but oh, I can't look straight at it. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Back to the action. Jesus. Can't really hear anything either. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, appreciate the support. Let's go let's do this. Wait, I got my flare gun. So it looks like banging it is kind of a good idea. Yeah, banging it. Yeah, the problem is... Okay, guys on the right, so throw the bang on the right. To the right? To your right? Yeah, the, well, the right from when you enter. <laughs> like, this side, where I'm facing. Yeah, I see you. I see you, I see you. Okay. Yeah. So kick the door down and throw the, throw the banger in there. Yeah, yeah. You gonna throw it or you want me to throw it? I'm throwing it. I got three. Oh. Okay. Let Ready? Go. Yep. You prep? I'm prepped. I'm, go I'm, I'm oh. gonna hit G. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> oh! oh <laughs> I'd 
seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Made it. Hold it right there! Miss Weaver! Cynthia! I'm a friend! Prove it! Uh... You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light! In the song! You can help me! About time! Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you! Is it almost over? Fuck! It's in the well-lit room! Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. You got all these flies. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You keep breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? No, I have a secret route, a lit route. Old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's draining all the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it? Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. Lovely. In preparing for these times, the dark tides. You have found my caches, haven't you? You can see the signs. Very few people can. Yes, please. Take what you need. This is all for you, for the likes of us. We we do Tom's work, don't we? Hurry! The switch is on the wall facing the shore. transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I had stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. Okay. I, I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Yay. <laughs> what the fuck? My brain. Keep in mind, this is the second time I'm going to play this game. It's been like a couple of months since I've done so. It's been a, a good year. <laughs> so these things. Uh oh. Oh no! Motherfucker! He designs these things. Transformer yard with dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. that 
piece of you, buddy. Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring it back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my care, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me, or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written. And none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know. In television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. Leaves us stay. Hmm. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry! We're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Whoa! No! Oh, we love Barry! Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. Who jumps like that? At it's least not over. I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. I swear, bro. Pages down there. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her.
surprised you guys didn't attack me. I was walking on the log. Barry! Sheriff Breaker! Sarah! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Already dipped already. Light up ahead. No, oh, this game. Barry! Barry! I really want the hunting rifle. I'll be fine with this. You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The Flaming Eye of Mordor? Laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. The bird's still out there? When you spend most of your night running uphill while the crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe, you know your helicopter crash landed in uh, night spring. <laughs> <laughs> but Al, we're safe in the light. Oh, shit. I should have kept you that see gym those membership. Lights? That's the elevator we need to take. All right, cool. You can't be a part of mine. What the hell is this place? It's everywhere. Oh crap! There's more than one of them. Nothing moves like that. It's impossible.
elevator going, will ya? Could have pressed the button. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas? Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Let's be careful, okay? Oh, jeez, I hate this. Oh, jeez. Okay, Wake, there's a button over there that opens the door. so we can get in. Twenty-three. Sounds like a good episode. What the fuck? Oh my god! I'm getting messed up here. Now come on, me! Thirteen rounds left. This should give me a hobby or a job. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds.
go no further. during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. I have to be the one to examine everything? Take it. And I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because six and... 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late, and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. <laughs> the page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. 
stopped the clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Alan Wake. For those of you who are out enjoying family, this will probably be uploaded tomorrow morning or probably tonight, depending. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole entire year of 2023. I will continue uploading episodes regularly. Uh, as I know some episodes have been like here and there and everywhere. But uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next Alan Wake. Take care and God bless. Ciao.